Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Kite Army, your favorite YouTube guy. Today I've got an awesome video that I'm going to put together for you. I'm going to use this Rockwell Blade Runner X2 to create a little project for my number one fan, my mom. So before I do that, let me tell you really quickly about the Rockwell Blade Runner. Uh, they've done an awesome job. And if you know anything about Rockwell, what they do is they take normal tools, ramp them up, twist them around, and come out with an awesome product. And that's exactly what they've done here. It weighs like 10 pounds. It's super portable. Sets up super fast. It can cut almost any material. It can cut wood, steel, copper, PVC pipe, tile. It can do it all. So it's a super versatile tool. So let me talk to you about the project that I'm going to use this Rockwell tool on today. Basically what I want to do is I picked up this cutting board for about $7. It came with two other little mini cutting boards. I'm going to use the Rockwell Blade Runner to cut a shape out in this board and replace it with the grain going another direction from another board. The first step in this project is picking the shape that you'd like to use to cut out on your cutting board. I'm going to keep it really simple. I've got a heart shape here. I printed this out from my computer on double-sided adhesive tape so that I can stick it to my project and make a perfect outline of the shape. Now that I've cut my shape out, I'm going to go around the edge very carefully with a pencil. All right, when you're actually ready to start setting up your Blade Runner saw, uh, for this project. The one thing you're probably going to have to do is get a blade uh, that's super sharp and is narrow. You can see this is a very narrow blade compared to most of the blades uh, available for the Blade Runner type uh, saw. The other thing you're going to have to do is make sure your blade is a T shanked blade. Right here you can see that's in the shape of a T and that's why. So let me show you how to change the blade on the Blade Runner. You just push this button over and that goes away hold it over slip your blade in and you're ready for cutting and let the fun begin well congratulations you've completed the most challenging part of this project and the Blade Runner, I can say, made short work of cutting out this plug. The next piece I want to do is get my second cutting board, place it behind the piece that I cut out, and transfer that shape to my second uh, cutting board. And just get in there and trace as tightly to that shape as you can possibly get. All right, this is my shape transferred to my second piece of wood. I'm going to make sure as I cut that I stay to the outside of this line. Once you're sure you've got your shape to fit snug into your cutting board is to glue it in place. There's only one type of glue I suggest for this because it's FDA approved to be around uh, food and that is the Type On 3. kind of work it in from this side okay then with a lot of persistence I was able to get my plug in you can see there's no damage to the board at all it looks great well thank you for joining me on this journey here's my beautiful cutting board that I crafted with my very own hands with a little help from my friend here the Rockwell Blade Runner X2 I know my mom's gonna love this gift, and every time she uses it to prepare a meal, she's gonna think of her favorite son. Right, mom? Me, your favorite son, Andrew from Kite Army. Anyway, all, have a great holiday season. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you around real soon.